Today we're going to be swapping the CPU from the Ryzen 5 3500 to the Ryzen 5 3600 on the HP Pavilion Gaming PC, mod number TG01-0023W. Currently has the 400 watt power supply, 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 256 gigabyte SSD and VME, and it has the Ryzen 5 3500. What you're going to need to do this is you're going to need some thermal grease, a screwdriver, and your new CPU, and some isopropyl alcohol or something else, whatever you prefer, to clean off the thermal grease on your heat sink and then your old CPU. Alright, so let's begin. You want to take off this screw right here. Slide this panel that way. This is your heat sink, and under your heat sink will be your CPU that you will be swapping today. There are four screws on your heat sink that hold it to your motherboard. One, two, three, and four. Before you take those off, you're going to take off this little power cable that attaches to your motherboard for your CPU fan. It's right back here, and you're just going to pull it up. Once you have that, you just put it out of the way. And then take your head and pop these four screws loose. So once you've loosened up the four screws, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and that your power cable attaches to your motherboard for your heatsink fan, it's not attached to your motherboard anymore, you can pull this up. And you're gonna wanna do is clean your thermal grease off your heatsink. This is when you wanna use your isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free rag or a microfiber cloth. We're gonna have it clean just like that. Now that we got our heat sink off, we're gonna to want to clean the thermal grease off it so that we can store it properly and also whenever we're removing it, we don't get any on our hands and get it anywhere else in the case. So we're gonna have it clean just like that. Okay, now that that's clean, you see this little lever on the side of it? You wanna push this towards the GPU and then it will it will go up, just like that. And then you can pull this out, put somewhere safe, make sure it's you don't mess up your pens. You're gonna take your new CPU, which is the Ryzen 5 3600, and there should be a correct orientation to put it in, which is usually marked on the CPU, if you guys can see that. But don't force these in, because these have pins and they can bend. You just wanna put it on there and you'll feel it, it'll kinda of just fall into place. Once it falls into place, take the lever, push it down to the side a little bit, and it's that's locked in. I'll take your thermal grease, put about a pea size in the middle of it, now this heat sink from factory, from the like from HP. It has to be in the right orientation. So cable on this side, and then it will attach to the motherboard right here. Once you have all four screws aligned, you're gonna to wanna to take your flathead and you're gonna put Start tying these down in increments. So do this corner a little bit, then this corner. And then keep alternating. Once that's tightened down, take your CPU heatsink fan and you wanna plug it in the motherboard where it says CPU fan. Once that's in, you wanna take your side panel and you're gonna slide it back on and then tighten the little screw right there. All right, now let's plug this in and see our performance gain. So whenever you install the new CPU, you turn it on for the first time, it's gonna say new CPU installed FTPM NV corrupted or FTPM NV structure changed. Press Y to reset FTPM and goes on and so forth but basically all you need to do is you need to click Y. Alright let's run benchmark real quick. Alright so we went up 1% in the gaming category, 1% in desktop and 4% in the workstation. So that's how everything's performing. 
Now this is really without like fine tuning it. Um, and if you were to add obviously more upgrades with this, it would be a lot higher. But this is overall just for a cheap little upgrade and I can sell my old CPU and basically make my money back. This is a pretty good upgrade. And that will wrap up this little upgrade. If you guys would want me to make other videos on this PC or if you guys want me to make some videos on other PCs like doing maintenance, overclocking or whatever, just let me know. I'd be happy to do it or if I should stick to just the pre-built stuff and doing the upgrades on them. Thanks for watching guys. Enjoy your day. Thank you.